today we are at Amritapuri, a beautiful place in Kerala. It's uh, Mata Amritanandamai Devi's ashram. Amma has been uh, a very positive and my guiding force in things which I've been doing in life. And today I'm going to discuss and tell you uh, about writing of mantras and what effect it has on our consciousness and our lives. Mantra is a universal sound a sound uh, of the universe and uh, it has various forms. There are formless mantras, mantras which uh, are with a form, seed syllables, uh, sabar mantras, tantric mantras, shaiva mantras, vaishnav mantras, shakti mantras. And these mantras are given to us by seers from the past, rishis, yogis who in after long meditations of thousands of years, several hours, they got it from the universe itself. In Sanatan Dharma, mantras uh, usually are given to um, have come up from Lord Shiva. Many have come from Lord Narayana. But usually from um, thousands and thousands of years, they have been passed on by Gurus, Acharyas, Rishis to our to humanity and the purpose of these mantras is to connect to their that inner source that inner divinity which they carry these mantras have the power to help us connect to the universal truth the, the entire universe some of them have meanings and some of them do not have any meaning particular meaning they are basically sounds which pronounced in a particular way in the right way they can help us um, uh, connect to the that particular deity, Ishta, or to the entire universe itself, like Om. Om is a very basic sound, a mantra, which doesn't actually have any meaning. But scientists, researchers, and yogis, they have come to a conclusion that's the universal sound. The universe has a particular sound, and when you uh, hear it, it... Uh, there's uh, the sound of Om which comes, emits from the entire, every atom, every molecule of this planet and this earth as such. So there are Shaiva mantras which relate to Lord Shiva. So if somebody is drawn to the energy of Shiva, then they can practice those and invoke the energy. Some mantras are passed on or given by a guru. But some are universally there existing in the universe. The sounds there are around us. So if we, was, if we try to chant them or practice them um, um, with awareness, we can actually experience the, the energy of Shiva, like a simple mantra called Om Namah Shiva. So this is nothing but we are just giving respects to uh, Shiva, uh, Lord Shiva. And uh, Om is the mantra, the beach which we add, which is the universal sound in itself. And in Bhagavad Gita, God, Lord Shri Hari, Lord Krishna says that Om is nothing but me. The sound of Om draws the person who would chant it again and again, repeat it. Uh, he will uh, experience the energy of Krishna or Shiva. If we add uh, Shiva to the um, Bij Mantra Om, then we would connect to the energy of Shiva. If we add the word Krishna or Vishnu, Narayan, or Shakti Mantras, Devi's Upasaks, they can add their, that particular form of Devi, Durga, Tripur Sundari, Lakshmi, Saraswati. And that's how mantras are created by, um, by seers and rishis. And that's how we can benefit from them. These mantras have a lot of healing powers. Why healing? Because this is the uni these are the universal sounds of the divine, the divine, the divine which has created this whole universe. The universe itself and the various aspects of universe from creation to preservation to destruction, everything all together is nothing but contained in the sound, sounds and vibrations of these mantras. We can experience it. Sometimes for cert certain mantras we need a particular guru, a p person who can guide us well and certain mantras are general, we can just uh, take advantage and use, the, uh, use them and benefit in our lives, daily lives, in every aspect of our lives, uh, where we, if we lack concentration, if we lack um, 
patience, if we lack love, there is no harmony in our life. There are mantras, if we practice them, repeat them in a particular way, uh, we can benefit from them. And there are various ways we can repeat these mantras, chant these mantras, uh, we can um, do them loudly, we can do them internally, we can whisper, and th that's, there are many, many types of ways which we can practice chanting and uh, repeating the mantras. We can also write these mantras. Uh, writing a mantra also creates energy. It has a different um, result on our consciousness, on our mind, our body, our soul. These are the various kinds of ways which we can use the mantra in our life. To connect to, the, to our own inner self, and the universal self in, in large, the macro and the micro uh, universe, we can connect to our inner and outside, both with these sounds uh, which have been given to us by seers and the rishis of Sanatan and other uh, saints also. People who experience um, ailments, mental problems, nervous issues, they have nervous breakdowns or they get anxiety, they have issues with um, social um, etiquettes, they have problem with communicating with people or expressing their own selves uh, properly or unable to come to a conclusion in any, any uh, aspect of their lives, be it studies, be it relationships, be even um, doing any art or creative work. There is no interest if you do not have any interest in anything. Uh, there are mantras if we chant and we uh, repeat them, we can build that uh, level of concentration, we can um, develop interest in life, we can bring in more harmony in our lives in every aspect and more love, more patience and we can see how our intellect, the brain gets sharpened by every repetition of the mantra or the sound um, it will definitely have a positive and a more um, healthy um, result on our brains and our heart, our body, our entire system, the entire nervous system gets benefited from chanting of mantras. This is um, for, um, and in every age group, from babies, uh, if, we, if they, are, they hear the mantras, it will have an effect on their brain when they start to learn in Sanatan Dharma, usually when babies are little, we would take them to uh, saints and mahatmas so that uh, they get to hear some good sound, a nice mantra in their ear and we teach them that particular mantra to repeat it, the first sound uh, they would speak. Uh, so why? Because it has an effect on our consciousness and the baby as it grows. So that is how... Um, important the sounds and the seeds uh, the mantras are for us and when we are growing up till the age of from the age of 5 till 15 there are certain mantras which will definitely help us when we are in growing stage our bodies our minds are changing hormones are fluctuating uh, we can chant mantras to calm ourselves to bring in more uh, awareness to bring in more uh, clarity in life uh, that way we can take advantage of mantras. Yantras are again given to us by seers and rishis of Sanatana and various other uh, religions and uh, people who have been uh, into deep meditation and they have come up with these sacred geometry. They, they say and it's the truth that everything which is in this universe has a pattern in it. Even a leaf would have a pattern, our bodies would have a pattern. Everything has a geometry and a way it is designed. And it is a very intricate, very intelligent design we have created. So yantras are basically uh, sacred geometry. It's a geometry, geometrical patterns of lines, circles, um, triangles. And they're drawn in certain way where we can invoke the energy of the mantra like if we are using a mantra of Devi or Shiva or Krishna or Radha if we use that particular mantra with the, uh, the geometry, the sacred geometry where, the, where we can invoke them then uh, we can see the result uh, of uh, that invocation in a better way we can connect to that our Isht, our deity or that uh, divine power which we want to connect to and know about 
and bring their qualities in our consciousness. Be one with that particular ishd or that deity that we can do with uh, using of the yantras. Yantras are very powerful uh, patterns, geometrical patterns. It's sacred and um, uh, usually it's learned by, it's again passed on by a guru, a guru shishya parampara. We have to go to a, a knower of yantras where we would learn how to use them, know about them, how to invoke the, the yantra, the mantra with, along with the yantra. And if it is done, it, is, um, it brings a lot of, um, again, many, many fold benefits in our uh, consciousness and in, in our lives. Combining a yantra and a mantra is uh, basically how we use the yantra. Yantra would, if see, uh, for example, I'll just uh, tell you, if we are invoking the energy of Radha or Krishna, so the, the yantra would have a place where Radha and Krishna are in the center or together. And around it, we would have other places where we place their, um, the, the closest associates. They will also will be there. So yantra is a very powerful um, geometry where not only the deity, but we invoke the associates of the deity also, who are all the time always with them. So that is how. And with that particular mantra and the placement of mantra, we can invoke them and... Uh, Yes, uh, people have, there's a process, there's a mantra, there's a yantra and the practical aspect of combining both and using them in our daily lives, in our own lives is called tantra. So that's how the basics of uh, Sanatan Dharma, how it functions and yes, yeah. Mantras could, can also be sung, we can sing mantras. There are many mantras only for singing and dancing. There are certain mantras which can only be done when we are sitting in a particular position. Some can, we can just do uh, internal, internally, but uh, at, at any time of the day, doing any work, we can just chant those mantras. So that is how, and we can write them also. Um, we can write mantras and create that energy of that particular, we can invoke that energy of the di uh, divine form or the formless we want to. Like Om is a sound which has no form, but if we want to invoke a particular deity, we can write it in a particular way use symbols and signs uh, associated with that particular deity or our ishd and that's how the yantra is created and when we put the mantra write it down we create our own energy with it so there are universal yantras but when we work with them when w writing a mantra along with a yantra is very powerful when we do on an individual aspect because we would be creating our own energy in it so writing it using few uh, sacred symbols, so certain patterns, it will create the energy of that divine and um, which will be our very personal energy. Yes. So in doing in that process, we would release many negativities, many positive, all the positive aspects of that mantra and the deity with the symbols which when we are writing, creating, would uh, definitely come into our consciousness and what is not needed in our lives it will just be released very uh, nicely. Mantras are sounds, uh, universal sounds which have been given to us by rishis and seers in the, from the past. And mantras sometimes would have a meaning which you can understand and sometimes they would not have a particular meaning. It's just the sound which has an effect on our consciousness. If we repeat those mantras, uh, a certain number of times we can see how it transforms our consciousness in many ways and positive ways how mantras can release uh, pain emotional issues tension stress anxiety uh, by just chanting them singing there are certain mantras we can sing we can dance with certain mantras we have to sit and do it certain in certain postures and various other ways which we can practice uh, chanting, repeating of the names of divine. When I talk about divine, it could be anything, name of uh, any divine uh, belief which you are from or you feel attracted to or you, you feel that it has in the past or you've heard it from your childhood, from your parents or your friends. You can just simply take that mantra or that particular name of the divine and repeat it. And uh, 
So uh, Amma, um, in, in the past, she has mentioned that whatever mantra which we are aligned to or either she has given or maybe any other guru if you have, so if you have got a mantra from any guru or if you do not have any guru, you can just choose a mantra and practice to write it every day. And uh, write every day one page of the mantra and you can just see over a period of time, 21 days, 15 days, 7 days, 11 days, by writing the mantra one page, how it affects your life. I tried it many years back and I have developed uh, with her grace and the grace of my Shiksha Gurus uh, that writing them in a particular way with particular colors in certain time of the day has a great impact on our lives. The impact is definitely very positive and uh, brings a lot of awareness and uh, it solves a lot of issues which we are, which we have in mind. For example, if you have a question, maybe it's related to your work or your school or your, some project you're wanting to do or some other thing which you have with your friends, something which you want to ask your teacher, but you are so introvert, you cannot ask for your friends or maybe your parents. You want to talk to them, but you cannot share what you are holding in your heart. If you're going through any of these issues or anything, you can just take up the divine name and start to write it. And when you, you hold that, uh, that, that thought in your mind and that question, and when you write it for a certain number of times in a certain way, you would find that you'll be guided and you would how to release that question or talk to that person or approach to that person. Or maybe you do not even have to talk or say anything. That person will receive your energy and would give you answers not even speaking to them, it can happen. That's the power which these simple words they, uh, they hold. And you can imagine how powerful the mantras are because if someday you meet your friend and you just say, uh, hey, you are looking nice and I really love you. These words, the kind of impact which they have on your friend or your mother or your brother or your sister. Uh, and if you just meet someday your friend and you say, hey, you've been really bad to me and what color dress you are wearing, you look so horrible. So these simple words, with, they, they can have effect on us. So these mantras, the sounds, the vibration of mantras are very, very potent. They hold the energy of universal divinity. And if we want to connect to ourselves where our divine energy sits in our heart, if we repeat these mantras, and we write them where our senses like our hands, our eyes are there and we are totally in and not outside. Uh, there, this, uh, if there are times when we just sit and do chanting of mantras. Many times, uh, teenagers, many people face it. We are unable to concentrate on the words. Uh, there are so many thoughts coming in our minds. It's very difficult to do meditation. So writing of mantras has this benefit that our senses, a mind, brain is involved in it. And when we use colorful ways to do it and with certain uh, symbols and signs of divine, it has a lot of positive effect on our uh, lives. Today, which the yantra or the prayer uh, mantra, which we are going to say, it is from uh, a Vaishnav sect of Sanatan Dharma and it is belongs to Radha. If you are aware of uh, Krishna and so you would know who Radha is and if you do not, by the time you look at the video and see it, you would know a little bit about her. So Radha is the divine uh, feminine um, aspect of Sri Hari, Sri Krishna. And the Ram, uh, it is written in Hindi, the script is uh, Devanagari. It's Ra, uh, it's with a dot ra if you see so i'm mm, using the beach mantra it's the sound of invoking radha in our consciousness you can uh, write the mantra in the center i've taken it radha's ra and then colored it uh, shri hari shri krishna wears the yellow color and radha is considered to be the molten golden color girl and uh, she 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 the color i have used yellow is uh, of krishna the the dress krishna wears pitambar is yellow 
So there are many things you could see. Then I have done the lotus. Lotus is the divine symbol of uh, Lord Shri And in many various uh, Sanatan Dharma um, texts, you would find the, the reason why lotus is used by uh, gods. Uh, you can study about it. But here I would just like to tell you, it's a divine flower. It has, it has the energy of praying. If you pray with a lotus or offer it to Lord, uh, you connect to him very easily and very nice. He's very easily pleased with the lotuses. Um, not that he doesn't like any of the flowers because he's the one who is the creator, he or she, wherever you have your faith in. But there are certain flowers, there are certain things which are used for uh, uh, praying and invoking the, that particular energy of God. So we have done um, Ram, Ra Radha's name, and I have written the Maha Mantra here. The mantra is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. It's a Vaishnava mantra and it is uh, it was chanted by a very profound big saint called Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, he was uh, a devotee of Lord Krishna and Radha. And he chanted this mantra. It is a mantra from Vedas. And uh, he chanted this mantra continuously and danced when uh, chanting and cried while chanting. And he was uh, totally absorbed in the bhav of uh, Radha and Krishna. So this mantra I have taken because the energy is very, very lively and there is positivity in this mantra completely and also love and harmony. People who are seeking, they feel that they don't feel loved enough, there's not enough love from or people don't understand them and there's a harmony with friends, with family, with teachers. So you can practice this mantra, uh, the Maha Mantra. This mantra has energy of bringing a lot of harmony and love in your life, uh, wherever it lacks. So uh, here, which uh, the way I've written it is in a circular fashion. The way uh, I have uh, invoked the energy of Radha and written it is in circular fashion because when you write it, the brain totally, the left side and the right side of the brain comes to a center point and uh, keep repeating, writing it in a circular way. So it becomes one. So with whatever thoughts, scattered thoughts you have in the left side or the right side or imbalance which you are having in your brain at that time or in your mind or in your heart, it will be released completely as you start to write. By the time you write one round, two round, three rounds, all the negative things which will be released. A, by the mantra itself, the power of the mantra and the way you are writing. it. Now you can choose to write whenever you have time. The only things which you have to consider while writing is wherever you're writing sitting, you must see outside. If you are in a room, say you have a room and you are alone there, you have your desk and you are in writing, you want to write on that. And if there is a window, I would like you to see outside the window, the trees, the sky, and then come sit on your desk, look at the walls around you, the curtains, the bed cover, or anything which in your room which draws your att attention. You can see, look at that particular thing and look at the color which it has. So take one of those colors. Take one colors from the outside nature. Whatever time it is, it's evening, look at the, the dawn or the dusk or the sunset, the sunrise, the trees, uh, the flowers, whatever has, what catches your eye at that moment. Take that particular color and use it. Then take a color from your inside room, wherever you are, any color which you feel it's very nice. And one of the colors, what you are wearing that day, if you are wearing a yellow, you are wearing white, you are wearing red, or if you are a school going or a college or a brahmachari or a sannyasin and want to practice this and you wear only one color, then I recommend to take that one particular color every time, every day you do your practice. So it's like if you're wearing a yellow or a white or a red, so you can take a white sheet every day and not take any other color. If you're wearing yellow, you're wearing red. Or if you are a school going kid, uh, oh, this is not. <laughs> if you're a school going uh, person, then whatever school dress like beige or blue or green or red, you try to incorporate that. And if you're not wearing a school dress, whatever school dresses you're wearing, that particular color you try to do. Three colors, three aspects which you have to combine. One is the nature outside, 
one is where you are sitting and one what is on your body at that time one and sometimes if you have some issues with your friends or or something something which is not making you feel very happy then this practice is going to help you release all that pain also what you can do is uh, your friend if you have some some argument with your friend or your teacher or your um, parent just do one little thing remember a time when that friend and you had a good time or your mom your father and you had a good time together and that particular day remember that day just go back in that time what was your mom your teacher your friend wearing that color dress what color dress you were because i'm sure if you remember any good thought about or any good moment you have spent with your parents your siblings your friends you would definitely remember you'll be happy and when you are happy you would know remember what that person was doing eating and uh, or sleeping or dancing or doing whatever or wearing that what color that person was wearing or if you do not remember that then try to know what color that person likes your mom your dad your sister your brother or your sibling or your friends just try to remember that i know it's not easy if you have had a very bad argument or you are not feeling uh, nice uh, about that person but if you try to remember anything good about that person and a particular color of that particular day or that moment which you spent and it was really nice then it will help you and you write with that color only this mantra or any mantra uh, any divine name if you are a muslim if you are a christian you can just pick allah's name and you can just write in urdu allah allah, allah. Uh, i have done that also it's a very 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 nice uh, way to practice and write the name if you are a christian if you want to have any name of jesus christ there's so many names of jesus you can just keep writing that uh, you can add om and nama to it if you want to or if you do not even want to do that you can just write the repeat the name of your divine positive uh, energy which you hold on to in case you are not aware of any mantra then you can just uh, write uh, this maha mantra if you want to which i have written in this uh, project and maybe in some other time i can share more about uh, an advanced level how we make more prayer yantras and how we do work radhe, radhe. so yourselves uh, by writing up about the borders i have created on this uh, the mantra speak meditation uh, which we have made now so uh, the borders if you see they are triangulars they are there are three aspects this is the trinity in many ways we can talk about the three aspects which we hold the sattva rajas and tamas and also it uh, signifies brahma vishnu and shiva and in sanatan dharma it has a um, the symbol is the temple we call it the temple border it is the sign of temples uh so this energy itself has a very very divine um uh, impact on your consciousness plus this is uh, the the triangles which are um downward pointed are the the feminine aspect the shakti aspect the ones which are uh, upward pointed upwards are the shiva the masculine aspect of our divine uh, divine forms be it radha krishna be it shiva shakti whatever so we are just trying to uh, make the border when we do this kind of border and make it it helps us balance our aspect of feminine and masculine sides uh, it brings the the radha krishna the shiv shakti aspect in a more balance whatever we are lacking if we have the feminine energy which is going more if we are feeling really very bad or we are very emotional about things and uh, sometimes we do not feel emotions or we are very you know people would call us hey you do not have a heart you are so hard on yourself or on others so these uh, these symbols if you are drawing and making along with the mantras which will help you balance your uh, that aspect of divine uh, secondly i would like to tell you about the paisley i have made it is called paisley in english in hindi it is called the ambi it's a sign of uh, mango but it is here because we have invoked the energy of radha so radha always has connection to the paisley she wears it on her head and it's just like her herself it's called chandrika in hindi and if you would see any of radha's pictures or any images 
she is wearing it on her head. So hereby making in itself, trust me, I'm telling you this by my own experience. If a person just draws this paisley and writes the name Radha, the kind of peace and the energy a balance you would experience, it's amazing. Every time it's my personal experience, I write the name Radha and draw this, it brings a lot of change in my particular mood or my bhava and I definitely directly connect to her. It's just like invoking that energy with the mantra and with the symbols which we have. So this is how it is done. The paisley has come. And the, the colors here, which I've tried to use, see, the blue, definitely, again, it's uh, Radha's color. She wears blue color. It's Krishna's color. And then orange. Orange is a color of rising sun, also the setting sun. It also has the power of renunciation and a lot of strength. So we do not have to be renunciants all the time, but uh, we do need strength. And orange color, the red color, red color is the base chakra color, which helps us ground ourselves. And the orange color helps us uh, bring more strength within our uh, lives to take any decisions or do anything. Even writing this and making it um, in a proper way to balance ourselves, bring more peace and more experience that divine thing which we have hold in our heart, uh, we will experience it better, that strength aspect. and. Trust me, we all need strength in every aspect of lives until we achieve something which we really want. If we want to do well in our studies or any other aspect of our life, we need strength for that. So orange is that color which helps you bring in that. And uh, yeah, so yeah, that is how it is for now. So dear friends, uh, uh, this uh, mantra meditation which you will create or if you create and you write, you can uh, actually use it just not for that particular time. You can put it in front of your bed or you put it in your desk or put it in your room, wherever uh, you uh, would like to see it or it's easy for you to see it every day. Or you can give it to somebody. Every single day, if you just look at it for two to three minutes, not more than that, but just by passing by and whatever word or whatever color catches your eye, you remember that if that particular day, you just keep visualizing it. It will help, uh, it will definitely help release a lot of things uh, in your mind and bring the divine word, that that energy of that divinity in that particular mantra, which has, you will receive it. And it is also good to uh, uh, look at it for like two or three minutes, stand there and just look at what you have written every day. If you You can do that practice also. Plus, uh, why the border I have created in a square manner, square fashion, is because the uh, the mantras which we have written and the way we have written, we want to contain that energy. So there is always a border which is created. You know, demarcation we do it. So we now uh, invoking the energy of Radha and Krishna. We have contained it. It won't go out. So it becomes a very powerful uh prayer yantra it will have a, a impact on anybody who would look at it not only you and it will help the, those people plus if you are writing the mantra in circular way or any other way which maybe later in the videos we can discuss and uh, you feel that you are unable to write the whole mantra because the the line is ending somewhere you can just choose to continue the mantra in the next line uh, also with another color you can do the whole uh, mantra writing in one color, two colors, three colors, ten colors. It's just up to you how you want to do it. The green color, uh, like here I have taken the dark green and the light green, it's the aspect of Shiva. And Shiva and Radha have a very similar energy. So as per the Shastras, I'm talking and everything which I'm saying, it's according to the scriptures which is written and uh, we can... If there, is any, there are any questions, I can tell uh, you about it. So that is how it is. The purple color is uh, Shri Hari's color. The red is the feminine aspect. So we've com I've combined both here. Uh, that is how I have done it. The pink color is definitely the feminine energy. So what uh, uh, you can do is whatever you feel drawn to, that you can take. Plus, I have given you um, instructions on how to take the outside, inside, and yourself and make it um, 
um, make that the yantra, the write the prayer or the mantras with those particular colors. Uh, yes. And here uh, in this, uh, I have written some uh, uh, mantras from Radha Sesnam. There is 1,008 names of Radha. It has come from Narad Muni. Uh, Narad Muni is a very um, uh, important uh, Muni uh, Rishi of our uh, in Sanatan Dharma. And he has given 1,000 names of uh, Radha Rani Narad Panchrata, one of his books. I have taken those mantras from there. Um, Bholenath Shivji is uh, uh, giving a small uh, lecture or telling Parvati ji about how great Radha is and why Parvati ji should be praying to Radha for love and peace in her life. So this is uh, those mantras on the top uh, left corner. You can see few of them I have written here, um, like Om Gati Gamyaya Namaha and uh, Om Krishna Kantaya Namaha. Om Sarvang Sundarai Nama. So these are the few words of Radha and uh, and Krishna, which uh, I which might help you in many ways and uh, ways which you things which you are feeling stuck. Especially this this kind of writing you must definitely do. I uh, recommend when you are somewhere stuck in your life or you want to do something you are unable to decide something. Your creativity is not flowing in the way it should. You're trying your level best in things, but the results are not coming the way you should. You want either good marks or you are unable to understand few subjects in, in your daily life. Any, any subject, it could be maths, it could be science, you are unable to develop interest in it. Uh, if you write mantras, you will release that blockages from your heart. So you try that if you are a student, uh, trying to embark on any path, any subject, and you want to specialize in that, this will definitely help you there. Not only in em emotional and your uh, other well-being of your heart and your brain, but also the intellectual way where you want to uh, grasp knowledge and understand things, it will help you there also. <laughs> a basic uh, prayer yantra or create a prayer which helps us invoke uh, the deity or the ishta or the energy of the new universe which we want to um, have uh, in our consciousness and um, benefit from it in our life. 
uh, we would need basic handmade paper or any paper of that kind have pens uh, we wish we can have colors uh, different kind of colors any colors which we are comfortable with um, water colors pencil colors oil colors paints anything acrylic whatever makes you comfortable and you are um, it's easy for you to do create and writing also we can use different colors uh, of uh, different different shades of uh, different uh, different pens different colors colors because it ha they have a lot of impact on our lives uh, on our body on our um, on our soul this universe has been created in a very colorful manner by the creator and every color which has uh, been given to us in this universe has a purpose behind it has a meaning behind it it has an effect on us every uh, deity has that color and to see them in that color has an impact on our consciousness and it brings in different different uh, results and it has a different impact on our consciousness so that is how, how important colors are uh, we can uh, take colors from the universe uh, the nature the people around us what they're wearing connecting to them emotionally we can draw or we can take colors which uh, uh, like these yantras pray yantras when we create them they help us release a lot of negativity lot of stress anxiety tension anger pain in our bodies in our minds in our souls or wherever we are holding up pain it can help us release all of that and there's a process uh, say if you have your mother or your father or your friend or your beloved or your child where you are having issues with uh, emotional issues you are unable to communicate that with them or you often get into arguments or fights with them or uh, you are unable to express your feelings of love uh, to them and they are unable to understand you if there are issues on these uh, levels and also if you are unable to concentrate on any subject anything which you are wa you wanting to do it but you are unable to put your mind in it you are unable to give your 50% 60 or maybe 100% then writing of the mantras will uh, help us release all the unwanted energies in our consciousness and place everything in a manner where we can uh, develop better concentration develop uh, better um, uh, relationships release the anxiety the tension the pain and um, be more useful to us and to others and to the universe so this is a basic um, prayer uh, a yantra which we have created uh, we've written the the beach mantra the seed syllable of uh, devi radha that's the ram r with uh, a matra and a dot ram and um, it is uh, for invocation of uh, goddess radha radha has many aspects in uh, uh, many attributes to her like devotion patience sacrifice so that is why um, if you want to have more love harmony patience uh, release restlessness and learn how to be more surrendered to the universe to everything in the universe then radha is the right uh, energy to invoke so here i've tried to create this um, this and then um, this is the basic uh, mantra um, beej mantra sound syllable then these are the the lotuses lotus always has a very um, it's it has significance in sanatan dharma and especially when it comes to the uh, invocation of vaishnav uh, deities it has a very very strong very uh, use it's very you it is used by rishis by the seers and uh, by acharyas then um, the color orange i've used the the mantra that here i've used is uh, radhe krishna mantra it's a yugal mantra given to us by nimbark acharya and it is for prayer of both radha and krishna it invokes the energy of radha and krishna both equally and uh, the colors i've used is orange orange is a color of um, rising sun it is it's symbolic of strength it gives us a lot of um, grounding it helps us ground ourselves strength brings in more faith in us sun is something which stays with us all the time from centuries it's with us 
So it brings the color of sun brings in a lot of faith in us, the use of color orange. If somebody somewhere in us or in our lives is feeling depressed, the best thing they can do is uh, wear more of orange, more of red, and try to see more of a rising sun. And invoking the energy of Radha and Krishna, which is love and harmony in every aspect, with using the colors uh, orange and red, is also including strength and um, faith in the universe, in ourselves, and whatever we are trying to uh, do. So here, if I have not created this with any intention, my only intention was to help or for people to understand. But we can write these mantras, use these colors by setting an intention before we start. And tell the deity or the ishta that I want this thing to happen in my life and please help me. And the universe will help you connect with the, the right, the mantra, the bij mantra, the yugal mantra, the colors will definitely help you raise your consciousness, release the patterns which are kind of blocking you from getting what you want in life. And the way it is put in a circular way is way, um, where we can connect, the left and the right brain can connect to each, each uh, other. Uh, most of the time the minds are scattered. Uh, we are unable to uh, connect to ourselves. So if we write it in a circular manner, you do not, need not do it in a very clear fashion also, but if we write it in a circular manner, then it makes, uh, brings in uh, more one-pointedness in our consciousness and um, the restlessness will be uh, gone plus the left and the right brain will come to a center point and uh, it will mix and whatever is unwanted energy of negativity it will be released the energy of Radha Krishna and all the attributes of Radha Krishna will uh, start to be registered by the brain and on the on every level it will start to help us in our consciousness uh, again, and then here I've used the Paisley. So while we are doing that particular deity, we need to understand few of the things which are the signs and symbols which are used, uh, which they, which are a part of their own selves. Like Radha has uses uh, wears a Paisley uh, on her on her head. She, that's the main uh, decorative, the ornament she has, and it has a lot of significance in. Um, in our uh, writing this prayer also, so which we can discuss later in a video because these, it has a different aspect. But yes, if you if we are writing Radha's mantra, Krishna's mantra, using a paisley will bring in more of that energy and help us uh, connect to that source, that particular energy like Radha of Radha in a better way. Then the borders which we have created, these are again um, symbols of... Um, signs of uh, which we used in various places in Sanatan Dharma in many, many aspects. These are triangles. The, up, uh, the downward pointing tri triangles are the feminine aspect of uh, divine, uh, which is Radha, which could be sh Shakti, uh, and the upward pointing is the Shiva, the masculine energy. So when we have uh, them, uh, the triangles, all four sides, the masculine and the feminine energy of our brains, it, it comes together and uh, it is not in, in imbalanced. And if there is any imbalance in our bodies, in our brain, or in our behavior, or uh, on the emotional level, that masculine and feminine energy will come together and help us bring more balance in our lives. Um, that's why we create the border. It is a very uh, important aspect. Also, the energy when we have invoked, um, written the Radha, the created uh, with colors, the Bij Mantra, and written the the Yugal Mantra, which, which is the Radhe Krishna Mantra and also the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra given us to by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Again, this is a very um, important mantra because it brings in lot of humility, surrender, uh, that mantra. Because Lord Chaitanya, he was totally surrendered to divine and he invoked uh, Lord Sri Hari, Lord Krishna with this particular mantra only. And he had his uh, several darshans and he merged into him. So we, if we use that and the Yugal Mantra, uh, so these are the two mantras which I have used in this and contain the whole energy in this particular prayer. So if uh, I have made, it, made this and if you, uh, 
we can experiment this. If somebody looks at it uh, like for two and more than two minutes, two and a half minutes, three minutes, five minutes, they can actually record what state of mind they are. They can observe themselves, the thoughts which they are carrying. And after five minutes of looking at it, three minutes, they can understand what they have. They can know what changes they, it has brought in their minds. Even a single color, looking at a single color, we never know what aspect is needed to be changed or which is not needed in our brain. So the colors have their own impact. See, they are, these are the colors which have a universal impact on us. There is also the spiritual aspect which connects the, the Sanatan Dharma. Like green is used for Shiva in many, in Tantra we use the green color. There's, so every color has an impact on both the spiritual, the religious, as well as the universal uh, side of our being. So uh, while writing the mantra, if uh, by chance uh, you happen to write and then the line is over. So we need not worry about that, uh, how will we continue. We can continue from that particular word with, uh, on the second line. Or we can just finish, the, if there is less space, we can finish that line with a smaller word of uh, like Om or Radha or Krishna, whatever you want to, Shiva, and not write the whole mantra in itself. And the thing which we have to uh, keep in mind is, if we have started a mantra and it has to be there in, on this paper. Like if we write Radhe Krishna, Radhe Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Radhe Radhe, Radhe Shyam, Radhe Shyam, Shyam. So the whole 16 letters of uh, Yugal Mantra should be on this. It can be on the second line, the third line, but that mantra in itself, you should know it yourself. It is not for others per se. That, okay, I continued the mantra, but the line was over, but I wrote it somewhere else. So that doesn't matter at all. If by mistake you have... Uh, by chance there is a misspelling, you have spelled it wrong and you have written it and you do not want to, um, you have done so much hard work. What you can do is just leave that word and move ahead. Don't cut it, don't do anything. So just leave it as it is and move ahead and write the right mantra. For these practices, because this is not for showing it to anybody or giving it to anybody, a per se, you can, but initially you can do to help your own self. So it doesn't matter, the divine knows, it will not impact uh, anybody, but uh, yes, that's how you can preserve it and not just get worried if you have done made any mistake in it. Also, um, our brain registers uh, a thought, like for a few seconds, one particular thought. So it's always nice to keep changing the color after every seven words you've written, right? If we are doing the Yugal Mantra, which has 16 words, Radhe Krishna, Radhe Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Radhe Radhe. So, Radhe Sham, Radhe Sham, Sham Sham, Radhe Radhe. So, there are 16 uh, words here. So, after writing Radhe Krishna, Radhe Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Radhe Radhe, you can change the color. Because the brain registers for that much. It is, there is a possibility that uh, writing the whole mantra, you would get more thoughts. But if you just write the mantra, the seven words in one color and change it, your mind will not... Uh, uh, get more thoughts, it will st uh, still be remaining in the same uh, act which you are doing of mantra writing. So this is uh, another prayer which we have um, written and created, I have done it. Uh, the, the mantra here is Sri Hari, then itself is the mantra, it's a Sri, uh, we have not used Om, but it's not a it is not a tantric man, but it has the mantra Shri and Hari. So it's a perfect combination of the masculine and the feminine aspect of divine. Uh, also here I've used the names of Radha, the various names of Radha and also the Shiva, the, sh uh, the Shakti uh, element of Lalitambik. A few words I've used that also because Shri Hari in itself is a uh, Parampurush and Lalita Ambika also, Devi is also an aspect of his. She is the Padmanabh Sahodari. So I have included her names also. It's a very powerful um, prayer yantra um, uh, in itself. Lotuses again you would see I have used um, because that are a part of uh, Shri Hari. Uh, he uses them and it's always a part of Shri Hari. So see, when we are writing something, we use those colors, those things, symbols which are used by 
that particular deity it brings and brings the energy um, very fast you can see the um, the result and the the energy within you and around you also it has to be practiced i mean no matter how much i say it until unless you do it and write it and uh, draw it and color it you wouldn't know a little a single word written if you don't write anything just write shri hari with the lotuses and uh, the colors the particular colors which we are trying to make use of and want us and uh, want in our lives to help us it will help uh, it will have an effect so that is how it is uh, again if you would see that i've changed the colors uh, line after the line it's again to bring the not let the brain get scattered it should be with us only all the time so it's always helpful to change the colors and in, in the lines also when you are uh, looking at it once it is done so it will be more clear and at that particular time maybe say if you uh, drawn this and made this today and you are looking at tomorrow then uh, whatever that particular time your brain or your mind or your heart needs the uh, your mind will your eyes will get stuck to that particular color and uh, today if you are looking at golden because maybe you need the more energy of shri or and tomorrow it might be something else you might look at green or something else here i have used the mantra of krishna gayatri which is um, usually in the past it was given to children or students who would want to learn gita the gurus were, would initiate them or give them the krishna gayatri which is uh, om um, devaki nandanaya vidmahe vasudevaya dhimai tanno krishna prachodayat so that uh, i have uh, actually created a border or protected the whole yantra of shri hari with that mantra to and the energy to bring the keep the energy in this so once we have created these uh, prayer yantras whatever um, uh, deity whatever way we have done it uh, whatever size it is big or small or any any size we have done it we can give it to someone whom we really connect to well on emotional aspect it can be given to people whom we want to have better relationships or we care for or we love very deeply these uh, energies uh, this uh, the invoking of the deity and creating the prayer yantra shouldn't be given to random people or people who you do not know very well because you've created it with your own energy you've put in the energy of yourselves there is a part of you in it and which is a very very um, strong a very important uh, part of you in that particular yantra or the prayer you've created so it should not be kept openly anywhere it should be kept in a place where it is uh, um, it could be seen with uh, by only those people whom you uh, know very well whom you are connected to on emotional levels or your uh, parents your children your siblings your friends or your beloved where you want to improve your relationships you can share these yantras with them only we shouldn't be making them uh, art piece putting them in the drawing room or pe people can just random randomly come and see if you are creating a prayer yantra for a particular purpose like you want to have a loving relationship with your parent your sibling your child or your husband your wife uh, anybody your friend then that particular yantra when you keep that person in mind should be only shared with them seen with them seen by them only you can keep it in a temple a prayer room where you see and people who are connected to you on emotional level they see it because this is a way of invoking the deity it which is a universal energy so in sanatan dharma we usually take care of things like we do not um, eat drink uh, while we are creating them or do not uh, use dirty hands we usually do it when we are clean taking a shower or in a in a more uh, aware we are aware of our physical and our emotional self be even if we are not in a good mood in a negative mood also but we must take care that we are not doing just doing it randomly we have to take care of basic things uh, while we practice uh, making the prayer yantra we can place these yantras uh, in our bedrooms where we sleep and wake up we can put in front of our beds 
so that when we wake up, the first thing we, we see is that yantra. If it's in front of us, we can actually see the mantras and the way it is written. It will help us a lot. Uh, before sleeping, if we just uh, look at it two, three minutes, and while when we wake up, we look at it, it definitely has a strong impact on our brain, uh, positive impact on our brain, our mind, and our souls. To get you started, Dasiju prepared five designs for you to download from. So what you need to do is click that link below, choose one of the designs that you like, and then print it out. If possible, as an A3. That's the desirable size. Now, if it's not possible, alternatively, you can have them in A4 like this. Once printed, you will place your mantras around the design, and you start coloring right away. So, have fun. <laughs>